Uh, I'm Matt Vandenhuvel. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm an electrician and uh, came out here on a father-son trip to Wyoming to see if we could get us a deer and an elk. Coming out here and just seeing all, all the different types of game. I mean, back home, when I was talking to my dad, we kind of have whitetail and that's about it for big game out here. I feel like every corner you go around, it could be something different between the antelope, the mule deer, and the elk. It's, it's definitely something special. It's definitely eye-opening. Every corner you go around, pointing out the window, and you're looking at looking at all the herds of animals, and it, it's cool. Like, like I said, this is my first trip out west, so getting to hunt all, all the different types of game, going over every crevice, you don't know if you're gonna come up on a herd of elk the other day on my dad's hunt. We saw probably 100 head of elk out in a herd a couple miles away, and back home we just we don't get to see stuff like that, so it's cool. Yeah, it's just awesome hunt, hunting with him, coming out here. Um, he was out here a couple years ago, and he was kind of telling me how, how cool it really was. And like I said, I've never been out west hunting, so I really didn't know what to expect except for what, what he kind of told me. And coming out here, getting to share these memories with him, it was, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was awesome. The elk hunt was something, something cool. Uh, I was benefited by getting to go uh, on my dad's elk hunt early because I really didn't know what, I, what to expect a lot, but today it was, it was unbelievable. Oh, crap, they're a big animal. <laughs> they're a lot bigger than a deer. <laughs> we ended up spotting a handful of nice bulls throughout, throughout the early morning. We ended up seeing three good bulls go up over the peak. We worked around to the other side of the peak didn't really see them come down, so the guides knew they bedded up top somewhere. We started working our way up there. We got about three quarters of the way up there, and one of the bulls ended up kind of spotting us. They really didn't know what we were. They worked out from the rocks where they were bedded, and uh, all of us kind of hunkered down, watched what they were doing. He got, the guy got on a cow call. The bulls started bugling, working their way down the ridge right at us. Got within, again, 100 yards, couldn't argue the shot at all. Presented me with beautiful quartering two shot and I ended up putting a lethal, a lethal shot on him right away. So it, it worked out awesome. It was, my heart was going, that's for sure. I, uh, I get pretty shaky as it is when, when I'm on hunting trips, whether it's whitetail back home or out here, I really got to experience it. And as soon as that bull started coming down the hill, I knew we were gonna get a chance at him. He started bugling back at us. When I made the shot and got to go up to him, it was something surreal to be out here with, with all the outfitters. Everybody here is, is awesome. I got to be with my dad. He got to share that experience. Calling in, bugling. I know. October. I know. Did you dream that? That is Every time he bugled, like, all I could see was Matt's face go, oh! back at everybody else. <laughs> First time laying my hands on the, hor the horns, though, I, I honestly, there's no, there's no other feeling. It was probably the coolest thing that I've ever done. I, I thought he went back, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden Scott goes, hey, get the sticks, he's coming down. And I was like, what? All of a sudden I heard him scream, I was like, oh! You know when a turkey gobbles close <laughs> and you can feel it? You can feel it. <laughs> Look how big he is, too. Yeah. He's a big bull and just screaming. Uh -huh. He probably screamed four times on yeah. the way down. Yeah. I Every time he'd get like a little elevation, he would just. The last one I saw a little bit of steam coming up. I'm like, oh no, this not is good, it. not good. I'm gonna start. <laughs> My heart was. As soon as he started screaming, he goes, hey, he's coming down. I just felt. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Beautiful bull, buddy. Hey, you got it. That's, that was a unit seven tag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Look at that. Cool. Is there a little His eyebrows. You gotta be kidding me. Holy <laughs> man, that's made a lot of fun. Oh my I mean, God. even more fun. And it's not too bad a pack. No. We got him out of this stuff. I did not want to shoot him in that stuff. Uh -uh. <laughs> but we would have. We were ready to go. Oh, yeah. Overall experience of the trip was, was phenomenal. I don't know how many, probably a couple thousand antelope we saw. We didn't have antelope tags, but we ended up harvesting muley, muleys on the first day. Uh, I shot mine on the first day, my dad shot his on the second day, his first day he was hunting. Same thing with the elk, my dad shot his on the first day and I got to shoot mine on the first day that our season's open, so 
overall experience, there's, there's nothing negative to say about it. It was, it was amazing. That's two for two for the Bannon Hugo boys. Congratulations, guys. Now let's see how our other hunters did at camp this week. To win a free hunt with Table Mountain Outfitters, check out the life at tablemountain.com slash contest.